Greetings, Unsettled Souls. Welcome to a really small correct views today. Um, the reason I, I usually post on Wednesdays religiously, uh, it has taken me two days to upload the high def on uh, the last posting I did. So I'm going to give it another day to garner some views. But I did want to cover this real quick, and I'm posting this online because I'm interested to see what this judge's response is. And I'm going to let you know what the story is, then I'm going to let you boringly watch me make this phone call. And I'm recording this uh, for obvious reasons you'll see at the end. The judge of a, in a year-long custody battle over a Connecticut teen has awarded permanent custody to the Massachusetts Department of Children and Families. Judge Joseph Johnston issued the ruling Tuesday afternoon in response to the motion presented by the 15-year-old's court-appointed lawyer and the lawyers of her parents, Linda and Lou Peltier of West Hanford, Connecticut, which called for the parents to be awarded conditional custody of their daughter, Justina. Um, the state of Massachusetts took charge of Peltier when her parents and doctors at Children's Hospital clashed over the diagnosis and treatment in 2013. Peltier allegedly suffers from mitochondrial disease, a rare and controversial disorder where the body's cells can't produce energy, triggering chronic fatigue and severe digestive problems. The Pelletiers brought Justina into the Children's Hospital ER, where they say doctors quickly cast aside her diagnosis, instead concluding that her problems were of psychic psychiatric origin. When the uh, Pelletiers objected, uh, Christina the Children's, excuse me, brought in a DCF, and the state took custody of Justina, essentially ruling her parents were committing child abuse by pursuing medical rather than mental health treatments. In this ruling, Judge Johnston said Justina's parents continue to engage in very concerning conduct. Well, with all due respect to the judge, many of us would find this to be rather disturbing conduct. So I have decided to use the voice of reason here. Um, am I a doctor? No. Does this seem fishy to I me? Mean, yes, it does. However, point number one, I'm not a doctor. However, one simple internet search to the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation took me about five seconds, tells you exactly how to get a diagnosis. So what I'm doing, and I'm going to have to leave this message with a parole officer because the judge does not have an answering machine, but I'm sure any message given to a judge through a parole officer will inevitably find its way there. I'm going to record this conversation, and we're going to see if we get a reply. We're going to be polite to the judge. Not into doing hit pieces. People don't call you back if you do hit pieces. But unfortunately, now you have to listen to her talk for a moment. Message for probation officer Daniel Ford. Your call cannot be transferred to extension one. Oops. Your call is being transferred. There we go. I never said I knew how to use a cell phone. Speaker phone for everyone. Isn't this fun? I record these so that somebody can't say that I was threatening or said something that I didn't. Hello, sir. My name is Samuel DeGangi of The Correct Views, which is an internet uh, video blog commentary show. Um, I was looking to leave a message for Judge uh, jo Joseph Johnson, but unfortunately, unfortunately I couldn't find voicemail, so I'm leaving it here. Um, this video call um, that I am making, I am recording myself making the call, and I am posting this call online. Good morning, Judge Johnson. Um, I understand that I... Uh, you felt the need to award the custody of a 15-year-old girl to the state concerning issues of whether or not she has mental issues at the root of her problem or whether or not it is a mitochondrial disease. And uh, you know what? I know you're probably getting a lot of grief for this, and I'm not here to do a hit piece. I'm actually hoping to get a quote for the show. But I do have one question, and it's only one question that I want answered. I'm not a doctor. I'm a commentary person, I'm a musician, and I'm a professional DJ. Um, you're a judge. I don't think you're a doctor either. What I have found is the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation. 
I found it on simple Google search and it lays out exactly where to get a diagnosis, why it's hard to get a diagnosis, however they can send you to a place that will diagnose it. And that in fact would prove whether or not the ruling that you made was correct or whether or not what the girl's parents said is correct. It seems to me that the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation would be an authority on the disease. So if you can give me a call back, I would like to uh, know what you have to say. Anything you say to me will be put on speakerphone and played into my camera. I do not cut quotes away, I do not do hit pieces, and I do not lie on people. So judge, if you contact me, then I will be more than happy to uh, put exactly what you say onto my show. I am going to shut my camera off to leave you my phone number and I won't be saying anything after that because I don't want anything on here that could get, uh, could be misconstrued. So uh, friends watching live, you've seen the message I left to the judge.